Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Gypsy Wife Life. This morning I started off with a cup of coffee. I'm currently using coffee from Aldi's and to my coffee, I only add a little bit of lactose-free milk. Then I made myself a little breakfast. I started off by making a bowl of instant grits in the microwave, added some butter to a frying pan, put some toast in the toaster, cracked two eggs into the pan, and I let them cook. My grits were done, so I added in some butter and salt and pepper to them. My eggs finally got done, and then I buttered my toast, and here's my plate. And then after I finished my breakfast, I took some little daily vitamins. I'm taking this sea moss that I got from Amazon, which has a ton of other stuff in it too, and a multi-collagen capsule from Obvi. After breakfast, I did a quick workout on my treadmill. By the way, I am loving having this treadmill in my home. I am thoroughly enjoying it. It is so much more convenient for me to get some steps in throughout the day rather than going out in this awful heat we're having. And I don't know why, but the cats are very interested in this treadmill. They have been laying on it, sleeping on it and every time I get on it they just stare at it in amazement. By the way I have some earbuds in and I am listening to a little Drake. Now that I'm done with my workout it was time to start cleaning up. I'm starting off in the living room today so I'm going to be moving my treadmill out of the way for now because I'm going to be straightening up the living room first. Now that I got that out of my way I'm going to pick everything up off the floor so I can get some vacuuming done. I'm also going to be straightening up the couch. I did a quick lint rolling on the couch and the throw pillows and then folded my blanket and then I'm going to be vacuuming this rug here and then putting everything back in its place. You started a fire Somewhere deep in my mind See the barbed wire The place is grown all wide Cause I don't know if it'll be enough Or if they really care There's a stairway down for the both of us and then I'm going to be wiping off the TV table, the speaker behind the TV, and the base of the TV. I'm also going to be wiping off Grandpa's table quick and my little table I got beside my couch. And then I'm going to be moving on to cleaning my desk off, which really needed to be done. I'm also going to be setting up a new lamp that I got for my computer monitor. So the first thing I did was wiped off this clock and oh my goodness, I could not believe the amount of dust and cat hair that was on this deer clock. It looks like it hasn't been cleaned in a year, which is probably the truth. And I guess that's something I really just never paid attention to and thought to do often. But now that I see what came off of the clock, I'm gonna be cleaning it more often. So I'm gonna be taking everything off of my desk and wiping it down and also please, do excuse the cat hair covered booty. I was not aware of this at the time of filming, but now that I'm editing, I can see it clearly and it looks like I rolled around in a pig pen filled with cat hair. But there's nothing I can do about it since it's already been filmed, so here you go. It's just a glimpse of what I have to deal with on a daily and why I always have lint rollers in my home because these girls shed like crazy and their hair is literally everywhere. Tonight, I'm telling you. And now it's time to unbox and set up my new lamp that I got for my computer. I got this light from Amazon and I got it in this pretty pink color. It's called a remote control dual source light bar. It came with a user manual. This is the light bar. It has a light bar on the front and lights on the back. This is the remote control for it. It also came with batteries for the remote. This is the power cord and this is the attachment piece that connects it to your computer monitor. The remote control is honestly so cool. It has an on and off button for both front and back lights. You can choose to have both lights on or just the front or just the back. It also has a dimming and brightening feature and also you can change the color tone from bright to warm which I'll show you in just a bit after I finish up installing it. Which was really easy to do by the way. There wasn't much to it aside from just clipping it to my monitor. I've been needing something like this for so long because I work a lot at my computer desk and I am not a fan of turning on a big light if you know what I'm saying. And the lamp we have sitting here on the desk is okay but I needed a light to face down on the actual desk so I can see better when I'm writing down things and stuff like that. This little lamp is a game changer and a lifesaver. Honestly, I really needed it and it worked out perfectly for what I needed it for. It's perfect for reading and writing. It looks really nice and it's also space saving. I'll have the link to this in the description if you wanna check it out.
And now it's time for a quick interruption from one of our sponsors. We have Miss Cannoli here playing around with some paper. I thought y'all might want to see that, so I added this in. And I promise I love you much better now. The sour taste will wash away. And now it's time to get some more cleaning done. I'm gonna lint roll this couch quick and vacuum this rug over yonder. I also lint rolled Cookie since she wanted to be all up in my business. And then I moved on to the kitchen. Time to straighten this mess up now. Gotta put the butter away, put the toaster away, and get to wiping off these countertops and the stovetop. I'm also going to be loading the dishwasher and cleaning out the sink. Now that I'm done in the kitchen, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum and mop the entryway over here. I also did the same thing behind the couch by the litter box and stuff. I just didn't film that, but I did film a few shots of the girlies just in case you wanted to see them. And next, I'll be sharing a small Walmart haul, and I'm also going to be showing you all these soaps I got in from Mo & Co. Soaps. All right, we just walked in the door. We had to run to Walmart to get some litter and bird food and ended up grabbing a few other things. Uh, usually we buy our litter at HEB, but we didn't go to HEB today. We went to Walmart, so we picked up this one. And I got my birdie some food. This is the one I buy her. Also got some lactose-free milk. Wanted to try out a Prime. I've never had one before. This is the strawberry watermelon tastes pretty good and then look at this I found on clearance for three dollars the Dunkin pumpkin spice coffee I cannot wait to have this but three dollars can't beat that so yeah there's a little Walmart haul all right so this is my little package I got in from Mo and Co this is just the outer packaging I'm showing you and then I'm gonna be showing you all of the soaps that I got Mo and Co is a natural soap company that makes natural handcrafted bar soaps without all of the unnecessary ingredients no added colors or designs and no artificial fragrances these also aren't tested on animals and they are vegan these bars are made with shea butter olive oil coconut oil natural fragrance water and kale and clay you can use this for washing your hands your body your hair hair and they work really well for shaving. They create the best quality soaps at an affordable price point and they also donate to charity. With every bar of soap sold, they donate 25 cents per bar to a charity in need. They donate to a number of different charities which are listed on their website if you'd like to learn more about that. So I got a variety box of six different bars and believe me when I tell you these smell so good. We actually already finished off one of the bars. We tried out the Fresh Fella bar and now we have the Handsome Hickory by the Sink. I'll have the link to Mo & Co soaps down below. I highly recommend them. They are awesome and I love that they donate to charities. I also wanted to show you all this cute little ducky soap holder that we got in from Timu. Isn't it such a cutie? Now me and my hubby are outside playing a game of darts on the balcony. We actually got this dart board and a set of darts from Amazon and we are loving this so much. Then we both had a mango smoothie pop after a few games of darts and then Cookie snuck out on the patio and she was being a little bad girl so I thought I would share that with y'all.
And then some time had passed and it was time to make some dinner. I'm making my husband some pork chops with a side of spinach and potato salad. And I am having a crab cake with squash and potato salad. Well, anyways, this is the end of today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on. That way you'll always know when I upload a new video. Give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment down below because as always, I would love to hear from you and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.